I know what you want to be when you grow up, free from COVID restrictions. Hello, little people, and welcome to Career Day. My name is Tani, and I am a children's book author. The name of my first book is Tea Season Island, which is based on a trip that I took to the U.S. Virgin Islands, which are located in the Caribbean Sea. Why did I start writing children's books? Well, I loved reading a lot. When I was your age, the school's librarian would order books just for me. I enjoyed reading because I realized young that the pages of a book could take me anywhere. My love of reading allowed me to travel through time and history and I could teleport anywhere in the world. Once I became an adult, I had to figure out how to travel. So I finished my bachelor's degree and earned my cosmetology license. After all that, I was ready to become an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is a person who works for themselves without a boss. The benefit of working for myself is that now I have the freedom to make my own schedule, but I still have to be responsible, organized, professional, and pay my own health insurance. Okay, but back to the fun part about the freedom to explore the places that I read about as a child. Well, I was able to do it. I have visited six of the seven continents in over 40 countries. I was so impressed with what I saw that I wanted to share my adventures with children so you would enjoy reading as much as I did. What skills do you need to be an author? Well, you will need proper grammar and an active imagination so that you can write colorful stories. Do I need to know how to draw to write children's books? You do not have to be an artist to write children's books, but if you cannot draw, you will need to hire an illustrator to draw the pictures for you. How do I find an illustrator? I found my illustrator through a friend. Then I discovered an organization for people who write children's books for you guys. The organization is called the Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators, or SCBWI. This group is made of authors and illustrators who want the best books for children. We help each other with our writing and illustrations so you guys get the best books possible. The SCBWI has a festival in Bologna, Italy, with people from all around the world. You can network with these people and this could help your book go global. How do people find out about your book? Well, I'm a self-published author, which means I do everything myself. I use technology to help people find my book. I have a website, a YouTube channel, and I post my book events on my social media pages. This helps people find me. What do you love about your career? I really enjoy having book signings. I love meeting the little people and reading to them. Wait, I can do that right now. I was so excited about my encyclopedias. I had to find out what made them magical. I needed help moving the box. I knew my friend Lee would help. I sent her a text asking her to come over. Lee agreed to help. She arrived quickly. It took a lot of pushing for both of us to move the box of books. We finally got the box into my playroom. In the playroom, Lee and I carefully placed the magical encyclopedias on the floor. We soon realized what she meant by reference books. The books ranged from A to Z and were filled with information about every topic. This is what people used before the internet. Wow! Lee and I tried to decide which book to peek into first. She insisted on L and I insisted on T. Suddenly, something wonderful happened. The U volume of the encyclopedia spun in a circle and flipped open. Turn the page. How has the pandemic changed your profession? I really miss doing in-person events and festivals with the children. I enjoy meeting so many interesting people. I remember helping the Girl Scouts of North Texas earn their bookbinding badges. It was such an honor. I gave them a brief history of the different types of bookbindings. Then the young ladies were able to make their own personalized saddle stitch bound journals to record their adventures. We are all authors and you can write your own story. What is a typical work day like? Well, you have to be diligent and write a little bit every day, even if it's just one sentence. It takes hard work and patience to finish an entire book. You have to write even when you're not motivated. You have to find inspiration inside of yourself. But if you need help, you can also use music and beautiful scenery. 
to help your writing mood. Well, little people, I hope that you enjoyed Career Day with Tanny. Enjoy the rest of your school day. And remember that you can be anything you want to be when you grow up. For all things travel, visit TannyLamb.com.